time, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is us. It's the summer of ceviche at La Condesa this morning. We're getting a look at the special menu we've got for this summer. Thank you, Chef Rick Lopez is here from La Condesa. You're coming in, showing us what you're making. Yes. It already smells delicious. Talk about this yeah. ceviche, where it's coming from, because you guys are featuring different Latin American countries. Yeah, so we, you know, it started uh, the first day of summer, June 21st. We always try to do it like that. And then we cover different regions throughout the, uh, the ceviche world, mm -hmm. you know, always knowing that it started in Peru, but then we go through places like Tijuana. Specifically right now, it's going to be the Guatemalan region. So um, a lot of what the chefs have been studying throughout the summer come out to play in this dish exactly. Uh, this is one of our chef uh, Franks in the kitchen. He and I kind of get together, throw some ideas around, and then we come up with these dishes specific to the region, and this one is Guatemala. So it's kind of fun this morning because it's not a typical ceviche you would see normally if you're going to like vacation and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I can talk a little bit about it right here. So we have uh, Almaco Jack, which is similar to like a compachi, which is very, very popular in like sushi. Mm -hmm. So it's like one of those first dishes you'll get be like, oh, this is a familiar fish. And then everything else to kind of pair with it is uh, gonna enhance everything. Okay. Normally you cook it with like lemon or lime juice. This one has a banana vinegar. Oh, interesting. A little crazy, okay, okay. a little crazy. A little different. But different. it's the acidic and it's the sweet too. And then you don't really get much bitter out of it because he added a little bit of sugar in there. So this is gonna help cook the fish a little bit. And the texture is also kind of uh, really silky smooth. For heat, we incorporated habaneros, which are getting local Ooh. from Tecolote, and then just made it a little salt. So we dehydrate. Lots of habaneros, so everybody's crying whenever they're coming oh, out of the dive. I should have asked you what the spice was before I agreed to taste test. Well, you, you, can, okay. just, you can just hang out with it. If I cry off my on makeup, air. it's fine. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, it's happening at the end of the show. That's right. All of us <laughs> will just be here on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some more heat, too. So these are uh, red jalapenos coming from Kyle, Texas. These are Fagan oh. family farms. And then these chilies right here are, are um, regional to Peru, but they grow in central Texas in Tecolote Farm. So we're thankful for that. So yeah. this dish is not spicy at all. This dish is not spicy. These are sweet peppers coming from the sweetest lands. No, it's got a little bit of heat to it. A little bit of kick. A little bit of kick. And you said that this whole summer of ceviche was kind of born because things do slow down a bit in the summertime and you just wanted to make sure that uh, the folks at your restaurant were always learning. Yeah, it's, it's a teaching tool essentially, you know, with, um, with Austin being what it is and some people vacationing through the summer and all the students going away. It dips a little bit in the city. Um, being in the part of downtown that we're at on 2nd Street, mm -hmm. it's, you don't see that much of the change, but you do feel it a little bit. People are out swimming more than they are just hanging out in restaurants at that point. Yeah. I was just at your restaurant on Thursday. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Thank you. So we have some poblanos, roasted poblanos. We have the onions. We have the citrus in there too, or I'm sorry, the acid, which is going to be that banana vinegar. At the very end is the fun stuff. So this is the sweet part or the really fatty part of the dish. This is just a little avocado. We all know what that is. Yep, we're familiar with that. Familiar. We are. Yeah. So it gets a little mix. All the spices are coming together. I'll add a little bit more acid right there. And then I think one of the really fun parts of this dish being not so traditional is in Guatemala, it's um, known for its coffee. So there's lots of coffee production and sale of coffee. And when it exports, um, that's basically what drives the Finances in Guatemala. Wow, there's the dishes the, on the bottom. I'm just gonna tilt it a little so people can see. And a little bit of crispy Good coffee bits right there. Oh yeah, texture. all the pretty stuff on top. Beautiful. So folks wow. who haven't been out to La Condesa before, what can they expect besides awesome ceviche? So we're a modern Mexican restaurant. So what that means is we're driving what Mexican cuisine is. Um, being from San Antonio, the heritage is always there within the DNA, mm -hmm. but we try to push our ceviches, all the tacos, and then show Austin uh, what Mexican food is all about, really. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. I love these pictures, too. This is yeah, pretty it stuff It all looks there. great, yeah, right? <laughs> Thanks, Chef, so much for coming in of on your course. Sunday. We appreciate it. I'm going to eat that. If you come back from the break and there's no more eye makeup, <laughs> you know why. Blame the habaneros. And when we come back from the break, we're going to have another look at your headlines and weather.